The way I see it, in very general terms, it should be to carry out every effort to dismantle a number of uh, widespread beliefs and myths, which many people, even in good faith, believe that they are positive, but they're actually the ones that are leading us in a, a collision course. The obsession, for instance, by all politicians, governors, etc., etc., about economic growth as the element, you know, that will solve most problems, uh, without realizing that there are maybe good growth and bad growth, destructive growth or constructive growth, and that is something that is never analyzed. Now, we are embarked in a, in a boat that is full of myths and misunderstandings. So for me, the first real challenge of the World uh, Future Council is to clarify the panorama. These are the real things in the real weight, you know, these are positive, these are negative. Of course with good and solid foundations because it's not a matter of rhetoric, you see, and uh, we have those uh, solid bases available, you know, but the matter is to know how to communicate them adequately to the adequate people. The problem is that all these consequences and all the impacts and effects are long term. So to go and try to convince a politician is useless because the politician by definition lives on the short term. I mean he's thinking on his next election, I want to get re-elected in two years or three years. So I mean what's the point in talking to my people about the next 50 years? I mean. No, no, please, I mean, don't, 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 don't disturb me with those things, you see. And that's where we're stuck. Mm -hmm. So the only thing you have left is uh, the actions of civil society, which are important, but unfortunately they are not enough either. Mm -hmm. It's everything fragmented, you no? Know? And that generates many of the problems we have. The moment in which we realize that Everything is just one whole of which we are an inseparable part. You are part of poverty. You are part of, of nature. You see? If that clicks, click goes through the people's mind, I mean, then you can have a dramatic change. Well, I cannot see an action of the world uh, Future, or they, I mean, it depends on the individuals. We are lots of individuals, and each in, of us has a range of influences and relations and so on. And that is how the council can act, I mean, through its members. So all I can say is what I can do in the name of the World Future Council. In my case, you know, it is uh, in the academic uh, world, among scientists and academics, how to begin to change the university so that the university becomes more coherent with the challenges of these times. Because as, uh, as I have said it many times, today the university is not doing its job. Today the university, I mean, follows what the market says, but that's not how the university was conceived. The university was conceived as a great center, I mean, to give orientation, critical analysis and projections to society. And that is not, no longer being the case. And that is fundamental. Um, revised curricula so that the students that come out have a greater capacity of understanding the world in which they are, instead of being super experts just in one little area without understanding anything about the rest, you see. Uh, so that's the concrete action which I would take in the name of the Council. But all the Council together, I don't see doing it one action. The action is those who form parts of the, of the Council.